Woo! Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel, Audrey Novelty. Today I'm going to be filming a everything I got on my Disney World and Universal Studios trip, Orlando, Florida. As you can tell, I broke the bank. Okay, so the first thing, I actually got these ears at Walmart, but we're not going to talk about it. But I got this 50th anniversary Mickey bracelet. Zoom in on it if you can. Oh, and it has the 50. It's so cute. I like wearing these as anklets. And then I, Animal Kingdom, I'm also not going to do this in any sort of order. I'm just going to tell you where I, what kingdom I got it from and all that jazz. So, at Animal Kingdom, if you donated to the Conservation Fund, Disney's Conservation Fund, like, that helps the animals. You got this cute little hero button, and it says hero at the bottom, and it has a pretty elephant on it. You could say I'm a good person. Then, I got a bunch of stuffies because I wanted them, and Disney World didn't have them. So, I bought them online and shipped them to my mom's house. Fun fact. So this is Tuck Tuck from Raya in The Last Dragon. He's so cute. I'm also gonna go fast because I got way too much crap. Then I got Baymax. He's so fluffy. <laughs> and last, but definitely, absolutely not least, May from Turning Red. So cute with the little back. Now let's open her up, because it's ugly. Okay, obviously at Animal Kingdom, you know, they have the Avatar world now. So I had to get this little Navi baby, because oh my goodness. And if you put her in black light, these little white dots on her face glow blue. The ears couldn't even be contained. That's how excited I am right now. But she's so cute. Then at Hollywood Studios, I got this Runaway Railway Mickey cup because this is an amazing ride at Hollywood Studios. Very vintage Mickey. The art is amazing. You have to ride it. I got this 50th anniversary autograph and photos book. And I only got one autograph, but it's okay because we might forge the other ones. But look how pretty the end page is. She's definitely going to jail, guys. It's fine. Mickey Mouse signed it. The real Mickey Mouse. I can't wait. I might do a whole video on me making that little scrapbook because I feel like it'd be fun. I also got a Disney 50th anniversary fanny pack, which greatly helped me in Universal Studios because you can't wear bags on the rides at Universal Studios. So I love that. Also at Universal Studios, I got this Harry Potter reusable bag and I got a crushed chocolate frog box. So you did have candy. I ate it though, I'm sorry. He is mad because he wanted candy. But it has Birdie Bot's card. But yeah, she was supposed to be intact, um, but she got squished. It's fine. But also at Universal Studios, I got Pygmy Puffs. I got the pink one and the purple one at the Weasleys shop because they're so cute i mean jesus christ and they make noises i think isn't that cool really cute i'm obsessed then you know i had to get my baby hedwig i had to because she's so cute spoiler coming in three Jumping back to Disney World, I went to Epcot, right? Got so much stuff at the Japanese store, it's not even funny. So first I got the Pokemon Epic Sticker Collection from Cantu to Alola. But it has a bunch of stickers in it. And I love Pokemon. Then obviously I got a bunch of maps from each of the places because we're gonna hang them on our wall and make a whole Disney shrine because we're cringy like that and I will be getting proposed to at Disney World 
So in a couple years, stay tuned for that video, okay? Thank you. Then at Epcot, they have these cute little flower garden, you know, for the flower garden festival they have. And then Nemo for the Nemo part of it and it has stickers in it. So cute. Then for my birthday, my friend who I went on the trip with Savannah, she got me this Winnie the Pooh magic bag. So cute for the next time I go to Disney World. Then also in Epcot, I got this really cute Fantasia magnet that we're going to put on our fridge. I'm so excited. Also at Epcot in the Japanese store, I got this beautiful Hello Kitty bag. And she's a bumblebee and there's daisies on it. And it looks like she's going on a little picnic. It's so freaking cute. I can't. Probably my favorite purchase. Then at our resort, I got this cute Disney shirt. Which is just like the classic Disney World shirt. And I love it so much. Oh my gosh. But at the Japan store in Epcot... They had cinnamon roll and caroni. So freaking cute! Ugh! Then they also had that little bumblebee Hello Kitty. And I just couldn't pass her up because she's so freaking cute. I cannot. Yes. At Disney Springs, I believe, I got these cute little <sighs> Marie ear clips. And I wore them at Animal Kingdom. I don't know where the other one is right now, but we're going to find her eventually. But these are so cute. Really a showstopper. I think I got this at Magic Kingdom. Is this 50th anniversary pin with the Mickey head. So freaking cute. And I got the 50th anniversary pin with Minnie and Mickey. So cute, am I right? I love her. Anyway, next, Disney Springs. I got this soul plush because it's so cute. Oh my God. And I got Disney cutting boards because we need good cutting boards and who doesn't want Disney ones and this cute little fancy thing. Then at Magic Kingdom, I got Winnie the Pooh ears, right? Okay, so I first had these ones, which I got off Amazon. Still super cute, but I got the actual authentic Winnie the Pooh ears at the Winnie the Pooh ride in Magic Kingdom. So I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the video because I love them and I look so cute in them. I got this cute little postcard that we're gonna put on our wall for the 50th anniversary. And I got these free stickers at Epcot because they love us. Taylor said, yes. Then obviously I got this beautiful 50th anniversary reusable tote bag. Um, probably like the greatest thing ever and the freaking iridescence is killing me of joy. Animal Kingdom, I got this cute little reusable water bottle slash canteen moment and the picture is so cute. And this thing was just so helpful drinking water because it still has water in there, dang. Hollywood Studios, we went to the Star Wars world and they have these really cute bottles of sprite yes this is sprite like this is a sprite bottle at disney world and it's like the little bomb from star wars and it even has like the star wars language on it then i got this really pretty ring from the resort it's rose gold and it has mickey mouse on it and it looks like a real diamond and it's so pretty i love her then of course i had to cop the 50th anniversary t-shirt let me tell you these these were sparse okay people were grabbing these like they were crack free crack and so i had to buy it i actually bought two one for me and one for my boyfriend because i love him and because they're limited edition and we could resell them for hella money later on in life so yes if we even ever want to at the resort i think as well I got these super cute gold hoop earrings with Mickey's dangling off of them because Taylor steals my gold hoops, but it's okay because I love him, but they're so freaking cute and I feel like a pretty, pretty princess when I wear them. Also at Avatar World, I got this really cool necklace. So cute, right? I love her. She's beautiful. The little, oh yeah. 
it's this Tinkerbell necklace. And she's just chilling there. And then it has like all the sparkles and the pixie dust on the other necklace. It's so pretty. I love it. And her little wings are bejeweled out. So at Universal, at the medieval shop, I got these really cute love dragons. They're just like dragon statues that make a heart. And they're so cute. I can't. It's me and my boyfriend. Oh my gosh. We're gonna put these somewhere and display them because this is just too cute. And they weren't even that expensive either. Obviously at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I had to cop a wand. And I, of course, chose my gal, Hermione Granger's wand, because her wand is stunning. Of course, the map that shows you where you can do the magic. And then, the wand. She's stunning. I love how it has, like, the ivy wrapped around it. It's just so freaking pretty. It's definitely my favorite wand. Okay, this is the last bag of junk. But none of it is junky, let me tell you. At Universal. I got this super cute toothless keychain. I love it. He's so cute and tiny. You like the dragon off of uh, How to Train a Dragon? That is the dragon. Uh, toothless? Toothless, yeah. What'd you say? Toothless. I don't think you said that, but. I think I did, but okay. we'll 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 cut back to see. I got this super cute toothless keychain. Then at the Hello Kitty store. I got this My Melody Squishmallow. <laughs> I've been wanting this Squishmallow for I can't even tell you how long. And I'm so happy I found her. I got this SpongeBob and Patrick figure set. Definitely didn't need it. Definitely going up there. But it's definitely going somewhere because it's freaking cute. But I got this Spider-Man and Venom tie-dye shirt. It's so freaking cute. I love her. Then at the Betty Boop store in Universal, I got this Betty Boop nightgown because my baby loves when I wear these. It has Betty on this side and then it says Betty Boop 30 on the back. The Jurassic World store in Universal. I got this cute Jurassic Park shirt with the cute little scratch on it. The dragon, dragon scratch, dinosaur scratch. Then at the Simpsons part of Universal, got this really cute Simpson shirt. It's so cute. And me and Taylor will probably be sharing all of these, to be honest, because we both love sharing our clothes. <laughs> so yeah, it has all the characters. So cute. So at Universal, I got these cute SpongeBob magnets, because we always need magnets, and these were really cute. Then the very last thing in this entire haul, I believe, other than the picture I'll show you later, is this Harry Potter ring. It's a gold Harry Potter ring and it has his glasses and his little lightning scar. Yep, guys. My fat ass stepped on the wing and it broke. But it's okay, cause I know that jewelry glue will fix it. I've done this a lot in my life. It's okay. She's so adorable, just... guys. Right, they're still cute though. I'll she just, just, her wing is broken. I'll just glue it back on. You won't even be able to tell. E6000 does the trick every time. This is my case that I got. It has Mickey on it, obviously, and Donald and Daisy and Pluto and Goofy and yeah, Mickey and Miney. Mickey and Miney. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> so we finally got our art piece in. It's Robin Hood. Uh, that's my art piece, The bitch. king, yeah, I bought it for babe. She has to make everything about him. I got this beauty from America in Epcot at the art store. So we're gonna do an unboxing haul of my last Disney and Universal trip, um, expensive shopping explosion extravaganza. It's Bambi's pajama pants. They have Bambi in the skunk and thumper. And they're really lightweight. 
And it's made from recycled polyester. How great. That's disgusting. And it's like my favorite shade of green. Now this is the big man again, okay? I can't. It's a lounge fly. It's the Tinkerbell lounge fly. And I'm pretty sure this is a box lunch exclusive. I'm not 100% sure. But look how stunning she is. And I'm pretty sure all the bags are 60% off right now. If you want to go cop you a lounge fly at box lunch right now. Because this is probably one of the prettiest purses I will ever own. <laughs> and the little butterfly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the links below in my description. And follow my social medias on there as well. I want to you.